I still don't quite understand the level of hatred that liberals have for the National Rifle Association. I have to admit, I don't even under, I don't get it. How about comparing defenders of the NRA and supporters of the NRA, of which I am one, and many of you are too, to defenders of child porn? How about somebody on national television with a big, broad platform, a popular TV show called The Daily Show, John Stewart on Comedy Central, literally defending or comparing, rather, the NRA to defenders of kitty porn in Japan. That's pretty much exactly what Jon Stewart has done. Hard to think of any other change that is this long overdue. A new bill in Japan outlaws the possession of child pornography. <laughs> Did not see that coming. <laughs> Did you say a new bill? A new bill. Anyway, uh, I guess, uh, congratulations, Japan. Better late than, than never. But graphic cartoons, even one showing kids being raped, will stay legal. Why? Because anime animation and manga comics are a multi-billion dollar industry with political and lobbying power. That is, that is embarrassing, Japan. That is embarrassing. How can a lobby for a harmful, destructive industry take precedence over the protection of children. I, I, I am, frankly, I, I, am, I am shocked. And then, of course, there was a big graphic with the NRA logo. That's what the cheering, and that was the punchline. A lobby defending destructive, harmful products without thinking about our children. And he was equating Japan's bizarre defense of kiddie porn in cartoons. Although probably somebody in the world would say, well, that's that strange thing the United States does all the time. They are cartoons. I mean, nobody's defending kiddie porn, but the Japanese love their cartoons. It's a different culture. I'm sure in Japan, if I had to guess, they say, you know, there aren't any real people in cartoons. But that's a topic for a whole different day. I'm not going, we're not even going to try to, to, to peel that one back. But Jon Stewart, a prominent lib on television, compares defenders and, 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 and cites the NRA as an example of a destructive lobbying firm or lobbying entity. It's like the big uh, tabloid in New York City, the liberal tabloid, the Daily News. Every time there's some kind of school shooting or somebody gets killed, the Daily News rushes and blames the NRA. And they literally go as far as say the NRA has blood on their hands. The NRA pulled the tra trigger. The NRA is responsible for this, which is, you know, nutso stuff. I mean, it's like insanity stuff. These people are the, the accusations of the NRA are shrill and hysterical and and lunacy but maybe you can help me understand why there's such contempt for the NRA is it because they're so powerful i mean that my theory is it's because they're so, they've been so successful but it's not the NRA that's been successful it's the millions of americans who cherish the second amendment it's not the NRA that has pass legislation. It's the people who have urged their legislators to stand behind the right to keep and bear arms. It's not the NRA. The NRA is an organization that is made up of people. It's actually the people that Jon Stewart should be mad at, not an organization.